Welcome back to a new episode of Master in Programming. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how to do something that a lot of people ask me, and that is how to do redirects. How to redirect a user from one link to another or from one page on your website to the other using Wix. Now, I'll show you a really quick example. So let's say, for example, and the URL for my website is currently tapaway.com.au. If I go to this URL, it takes you to your website or my website where you can hire me to make apps, websites, or just ask me some questions. Now, let's say you've got an old URL, so old URL. Let's say you used to have, oh, sorry. Let's say you used to have this as a page on another website, or you used to have this page somewhere on your website, and now you just don't want your customers to go to that page. For example, if I click on it now, you can see page not found. Now, instead of showing page not found to people, you actually want to move the people from this page to your home page, for example. Let's say you were just, for whatever reason, you had an older page. How do you actually do it? Well, the first thing that I will do is I'll go back to my admin panel and you can go through marketing and SEO and then SEO tools or just the easiest way. You can come over here and you can type in redirect. And it will take you to URL redirect manager. Just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm actually going to take it the, the slower way just so that you can actually see how it goes just in case you forget. So I'm going to go over here and then I'll click on SEO tools and here you've got different options that you can do. And what I'll click on is I'll click on URL redirect manager. So I'm going to click on this and you can see that we've got a bunch of different options. If I click on more actions, you can see import redirects. So for example, you can create a whole Excel sheet of redirects on your website. And that way you can redirect people from up to 100 pages, for example, to a specific page. Or you can do a specific one. And that's exactly what I'll do in this tutorial. I'm going to click on create new redirect. And here we've got the option to click on group redirect. For example, let's say I had pages that end that go for example tap away slash accounts and then slash the username and let's say you've got 100 users well you're not going to do a single redirect for each single one instead what you can do is you can come here and you can basically specify that any url that has accounts in it should be redirected to accounts slash whatever for this tutorial however we're doing single redirects only so i'm going to click on single redirect I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in HTTPS www.tapaway.com.au slash and then the name of the old page, the page that doesn't exist, for example, old URL. I'm going to go back over here, old URL, and here I'm actually going to either, you can do two things, either just select home, you can select any other page on your website. Or you can simply type in the entire URL, just like this. There we go. And it will basically just fill it up as home. Now, if I click on save, you can see that it's here right now. And what I'll do, I'm not sure if it already finished or not, but I'll try go to the old URL. So I'll type in HTTP, HTTPS www.tapaway.com.au and right now if I visit this it will take me to the original page but what if I visit the old URL I'll simply type in old URL and click on enter and as you can see it no longer takes me to that 401 or 404 page that tells me it doesn't exist you can see that even though I typed in old URL and I'll take this and copy it somewhere else just so that you believe me. <laughs> Let's say I come over here. You can see that it has old URL. Here I'm going to copy it in front of you. Copy. Go over here. And paste it. Or actually I'll just paste it like this. Old URL. If I click on enter, it automatically updates the URL to be whatever URL I set up which doesn't have this. That's how easy it is for you to actually make edits to URLs and redirect the user to wherever you want them. 
Now, if you like this episode, please make sure that you leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to this channel because I post a tons of Wix tutorials for all levels. This is also my website where you can really hire me, contact me, check my services, and just get to know me a little bit more. I hope that you get in touch and I'll definitely get back to you very soon. Thanks so much for watching this episode and I hope to see you in the next one.